Hello everyone, it's me Jebby from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to add Microsoft Store apps in the context menu of Windows computer. So, without any further more delay, let's begin. So, firstly, whenever we right mouse click on our respective Windows computer, you can see this context menu. So let me click on this some more option also. So we don't have any options right now by default to add the Microsoft Store apps on this context menu, right? So for this, what you need to do is just open any web browser and in the Google search, just search for one application name as Store Apps Tool. And the first list, it will see its official website. Just click on it. Now just scroll down below. I will see your download option. Just click on it. So finally, the file has been downloaded. So let me go to the folder where it is being downloaded and let me close this web browser. Now just double click it to extract the zip file. Now just open the extracted folder. Now you can see here two software written with store 80. The first one is for the 32 bit Windows operating system. And if you're using a Windows 64 bit operating system, then you can use this 64 bit version. So right now I'm using a Windows 64 bit version. So I'm gonna use this 64 bit version software. So let's double click on it. So now you can see the user interface of this software, right? So now you can see here on the above one option, desktop context menu option, right? Just click on it. Now here you can see the first option on the left side is return Microsoft of store apps just click on it and if you want to change the icon of this option then you can just click on this star icon on the right side and select the respective icon depending upon your needs so let me select the microsoft store icon click on ok now you can see the icon has been changed now in order to add a multiple microsoft store apps you can choose the different option here return with one two three so just click on this one and now here you can see on the right side context menu item name so just click on it and you will see a tons of options here so i'll just select a calculator here and respectively you can do the same thing just select the two option and just click on this option again and select whatever microsoft store apps you want to add so i'll just click on this file explorer similar you can do the same thing with the rest option so let me add one more let me add a sound recorder so now if you want to change the icon of this calculator just select it and you can see here on the right side select icon just click on it now select the respective icon so let me select this calculator icon click on ok you can do the same thing with the rest option so let me select this file explorer and let me click on this let me select the file explorer icon you can do the rest with the same thing just click on it again let me select a sound recorder icon click on ok you can add tons more options till the 16 options are available right now so once all your selection is done just click on install now you can see here it's mentioned changes have been applied to the desktop context menu just click on ok now let us test if it really added the option or not so let me right mouse click here click on some more options now you can see a microsoft store so you can see a calculator file explorer sound recorder so now you might be thinking if it really opens the respective application or not so let me click on this calculator you can see the application is being opened so if you want to remove this microsoft store apps from the context menu then just click on this uninstall now you can see here it's mentioned changes has been applied that means the microsoft store apps option is being removed from the context menu of the windows computer so let me show you click on some more options now it's gone again so by using this application name as store apps tool you can easily add microsoft store apps in the context menu of windows computer very easily so if you've never known about this cool application then you should definitely give it a try so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching